Hello, this is Tommy Gorman. It is March 27th, 2008. It is about 2.25 in San Francisco. Anyways, um, I want to talk to Mary, the boss, the lady who is in OSA, Office of Special Affairs, who was a volunteer, just like I was, just like Tori Christian was, and many others. Mary, uh, I hope you're okay. Um, I hope that everything is going well for you. I hope you realize that uh, what Scientology is doing to you is they're uh, doing the whole so-called sex check thing on you with numerous people, gang bang sex check as I read on the internet um, and that kind of thing because you know they have to blame you for something and since you probably know a lot of information and they're scared that you might come out and start speaking the true harms of Scientology and saying what you do know, they're very concerned. I'm not really sure exactly what brought this on or whatever, but Scientology is a very, very a paranoid kind of a cult that wants to try to blame others, and most of the time the people they blame aren't the correct people to blame at all. So Mary, if you're watching this, you need to please call me, email me, um, or talk to Tori Christman in Los Angeles called Bob Bunker um, or a great person to talk to is Arnie Lerma at lermanet.com um, you know those are the people you need to talk to we're here for you we support you anonymous supports you factnet will support you with Lawrence Wallerstein which I'm helping with that uh, website right now and Lawrence Wallerstein is a personal friend of mine and he's a great guy and he loves to help victims that are either running from Scientology to stay safe or people that want to speak out or those that are just pretty much need help to sort things out and especially people out of Scientology because he was in Scientology and got abused and he actually won 9.2 million dollars in court he completely won uh, me and my wife went against Scientology but they didn't want it to go to court so there you go but um, we actually don't have gag orders on us we do, we're not allowed to speak about numbers of how much money they gave and stuff like that that's one thing I'm not supposed to talk about but we can talk about anything else what happened to us, what happened to my wife Jennifer Gorman that she was raped by a Scientologist and they hid the whole thing and tried to cover it all up and also didn't want the police involved told the parents not to call the cops, use the scare tactics and that kind of thing so Mary you need to understand that anything that's happening right now is not your fault you hopefully understand that you know how OSA works they're gonna intimidate you they're gonna threaten you and ultimately if that doesn't work they're going to try to pay you money and when they pay you money they're gonna tell you that they need a gag order now not enough there's no money in the world that is worth you know signing something that says you cannot be a free speaker that's just weird Nazi shit so be a free speaker do not sign some stupid gag order that says no you can't talk about what you know about Scientology because if you do you're just making it that much harder for other people to be able to come out and see all the other victims you know and that's one of the reasons why we refuse to sign gag orders and we didn't care about their shit money we just completely refused to sign their gag orders and we weren't going to sign a gag order period it just wasn't going to happen and so we did not sign a gag order and a lot of people do sign gag orders. But please have the honor, Mary, to stay strong. And if you need support, we're here for you. Me especially, Tori is, I'm sure, and Arnie, I'm sure, is there too. And we have a lot of people backing you that can back you up. Please stay strong and realize that we are here for you. And just don't sign a gag order and take their dirty money for a gag order. Now, if they want to give you money and you don't have to sign a gag order, then hey, whatever, take it. Who cares, right? Have a good life then. Good, do that. Scientology likes gag orders. They want to make it so other people won't realize what happened to the last person because they want to continue on. But people are not signing gag orders and fighting out like Anonymous, which Anonymous, you guys are amazing. I can't thank you all enough around the world. You guys are awesome. The San Francisco Anonymous people where I live, thank you so much for all your support and help. You guys are amazing. Um, but Mary, you know, you just need to stay strong like you're probably being, because I know you're a strong lady, and you just really need to speak out. You need to first quietly come to one of us, talk to us, 
Uh, I've been in OSA. I was in OSA. I dealt with a lot of weird shit. You dealt with a lot of stuff, and you probably dealt with more stuff than any of us, and that would be a reason why Scientology is so afraid of you, and that's why they're being so mean to you. That's why they're probably going to sex check you or have sex checked you with numerous people trying to make your needle dirty and all this kind of stuff and say you're an SP or whatever, but those guys are just so scared of you. They're afraid. So please speak out. Come to us. I'm here for you, and I will help you in any possible way I can. I will help you fight Scientology if you need help to fight Scientology. Anonymous will back you. So please speak up. Thanks for uh, watching, everyone, and I will talk to everyone soon. Please, everyone, if you know of somebody that needs to speak out, who's like a parent or someone who got disconnected from a sister or brother or cousin or girlfriend or whatever it might be, have them come speak out at these next nice big protest on April 12th, 2008. Uh, we're going to have, of course, one in San Francisco and Anonymous. You're throwing them all around the world. So please, anybody, if you're in the Bay Area, we will help bring you out to San Francisco if you don't already live close enough to just drive out here. We will support you guys. We need your help. We need people to speak out and tell how Scientology has made people disconnect from you. Please help us. And please contact me some way. Send me a message. Go on different websites. On pretty much all the websites, my name is Tommy Gorman Zenu or Tommy Gorman Zenu something. So it's hard to miss me. Okay? Alright, guys. Thanks a lot. And Mary, please stay safe. I'm looking forward to talking to you. And Mark Bunker is too. So I was ex OSA, so was Tori, and we can easily help you and talk to you and stuff. You need someone to talk to you that understands certain things, and we're here for you. Please contact one of us, if not all. Thank you very much. I will see you very soon, guys. See you on April uh, 12th, and have a blast, everyone. It's going to be huge. Everyone bring at least a couple friends. I asked Tori, hey, how can I make this big? She said, just tell everybody to bring at least two people. It was suggestions of hers, and... I had a similar idea, but I like her idea the best. So everybody, bring a couple people with you, and thanks for watching. I'll see you all very soon. Tommy Gorman speaking, and I will see you guys later.